Welcome to Travel and Work, a one-stop channel that brings you all the latest information and news about traveling, working, studying and living abroad. The UK Home Office has imposed a new rule which will make it more difficult for many people to obtain British citizenship. They stated that the new rules are necessary to protect the public and to ensure that only those who are fit to be British citizens are granted citizenship. So, in this video, we will delve into the new rules for obtaining British citizenship by the UK Home Office. You want to ensure to watch till the end. You also want to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell icon to always be notified when we publish new updates on UK visas and immigration. Under the new rules, applicants must be of good character. This requirement means that they must not have committed any serious criminal offenses such as those that result in a prison sentence of 12 months or more. Applicants must also be able to show that they have been rehabilitated and are no longer a threat to society at large. This crackdown reaffirms the government's commitment to protecting the UK borders and ensuring no one with a criminal record can abuse the British immigration and nationality system. These tougher rules will be stricter and more specific on the good character requirements. The crackdown will ensure serial criminals cannot claim British citizenship regardless of when or where the crime took place. As we now know that good character requirements are a key condition in order to be granted British citizenship. There will be strict checks if an applicant has observed the UK law as well as shown respect for the rights and freedoms of British citizens. You may be asking, what exactly does this good character mean and require? The good character requirements consider factors such as criminal convictions, series of offenses like war crimes, terrorism or genocide. This new change has removed the previous rules, where some criminals could be granted British citizenship after a number of years. It has also been stated that British citizenship is a privilege. So, those who commit crimes shouldn't be able to enjoy the right. Citizenship brings including holding a British passport, voting, and accessing free medical care from the NHS. The UK immigration and nationality system introduced a tougher threshold, so that serious criminals cannot gain British citizenship. As we can agree with this that any country would protect their name and borders and not just grant anyone or British citizenship. To be a British citizen, include the government looking after you, even if you are abroad. The British government will not waste their effort and time on someone who is a criminal and tagged a Britain citizenship. Again, Britain will not want to identify with criminals. In a statement made by the government, it stated that, the new rules, is the fair and right thing to do for our country. As is often the case with the immigration rules, there will be some exceptions and citizenship may still be granted to some individuals where there are mitigating circumstances to support a grant. For instance, an individual who committed a minor offense in a long time has passed since the offense and the individual has made sufficient positive changes to show that they are now considered to be of good character. Cases like this will be assessed by the Home Office on a case-by-case -case basis. Therefore, embracing the new standards is a call for collaboration. The revised good character requirements reflect a raised emphasis on ensuring that British citizenship is granted to individuals who uphold the values and principles that define British society. Now, to navigate this evolving landscape effectively, collaboration between applicants, legal professionals and the Home Office is essential. British citizenship remains accessible to those who demonstrate the qualities that make them worthy of this esteemed status. You want to know that, the new rules apply to all new applications for British citizenship regardless of when the applicant entered the UK. If you are considering applying for British citizenship, you should contact an immigration lawyer or advisor to discuss your eligibility and the new rules. I hope this information has been helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more on UK visas and immigration news. I will wrap up here and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.